uh, Euclid is Lisa science mission, so a science mission of the European Space Agency, and we are trying to uncover the 95% of the universe, which we don't really know very much about. Basically, our universe has evolved since the Big Bang of around about 13 billion years. We are looking back in time by 10, 10 billion years and trying to understand how the universe has evolved and why we are where we are today. What we will look at with our space telescope is that we will be mapping around 35% of the extragalactic sky. So this will take around about six years. So we'll be, we'll be mapping out the sky very accurately, very high precision, 10 billion light years back into our past. And we'll be imaging in this period around several billion galaxies that the scientists will then use to analyze basically how dark matter and dark energy are distributed in our universe. The astronomer calls everything he cannot see dark. And basically, dark energy and dark matter does not interact directly with, with light. So it passes through. So we can't see it directly. However, it interacts uh, with light via gravity. Gravity uh, is distorting space. And effectively, light will follow the shortest path, which is basically following the distorted space. And therefore, we can sort of see it. It's like a bit of you know, lensing, effectively, you know, matter that you have between you and, and the galaxies you're trying to look at acts like a lens and, and that's what we'll be looking it at. We'll be looking at, ver at weak lensing so that's basically uh, a very small lensing effect and therefore our telescope has to be very accurate in order to measure it. Well, we'll be, uh, you know, the Earth is around 150 million, million kilometers away from the Sun. Uh, we'll be flying to a point which is called the Sun-Earth Lagrange point number two. That's around 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. And we will have the Sun, the Earth, the Moon, everything that's bright in our back. So the spacecraft, our telescope, is equipped with a sun shield which will protect it from all sunlight. And therefore, we'll be sitting very dark, very cold, which is exactly what we need in order to do these observations and scan the sky and looking for uh, these extragalactic galaxies, which will be 10 billion years back in, in our history. Die hat sehr erfolgreich praktisch diese Hintergrundstrahlung sehr genau vermessen. Also der Weltraum ist nicht. Web zum Beispiel, aber wir haben das anders ausgelegt als speziell ausgelegt dafür, dass